Hello friends! Welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn what the biggest and most violent storms are. Hurricanes. Hurricanes are so called because according to the Mayan legend, a god named Urakan spread his breath through the water, creating the earth. But that is only a legend. Hurricanes are really huge tropical storms that form in the Southern Atlantic Ocean, in the Caribbean Sea and in the Gulf of Mexico. Depending on where they are formed, they are also called cyclones or typhoons. For example, hurricanes that form in the Pacific Ocean are called typhoons and those that form in the Indian Ocean are called cyclones. Hurricanes are formed by an eye or center composed of calm air that is surrounded by clouds, strong winds and storms full of water. Hurricanes form when a series of electrical storms come together and travel over the warm waters of the oceans. The warm air of the storm causes surface water to evaporate and begin to rise, generating low pressure on the surface of the ocean. The winds that circulate in opposite directions make the storm begin to turn. As the storm moves across the ocean, the speed of the wind increases and it takes an enormous and incredible force until the hurricane falls. When it hits the ground, the impact of a hurricane usually causes a lot of damage. Although, it depends on the category of hurricane, as it is classified in five. Category one, hurricanes are the weakest and have a speed between 119 and 153 kilometers per hour. Those of category five go to more than 250 kilometers per hour and are super destructive. The truth is that hurricanes are very dangerous and there are populations that have been destroyed by them. At present, scientists do not know if global warming causes more hurricanes or not, but they are clear that it greatly increases its intensity and its destructive power. So, as we always tell you from Happy Learning, you have to take care of the planet. You have to recycle and contaminate as little as possible. If we all respect nature, we'll avoid many misfortunes and sorrows. Goodbye, friends! Oh, and do not forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, happy friends! Have a look at these images. As you can see, it's raining. Now it's very windy. And now it's snowing. And these girls are wrapped up nice and warm so they don't freeze. We call these phenomena atmospheric or meteorological phenomena. As we already know, around the Earth, there is the atmosphere, a layer of gases that are necessary for life to exist on the planet. In the atmosphere, apart from these gases, there are also clouds, which are made up of millions and millions of drops of water. The clouds travel from one place to another through the atmosphere, depending on whether it is cold or hot, or, for example, if it is very windy, Sometimes the atmosphere is altered as if the Earth was angry. It unleashes different weather phenomena onto the Earth's surface, such as rain, hail, snow, and sometimes storms and even hurricanes, which are tremendous storms. To be able to understand and represent these atmospheric phenomena, we used the weather map. And in this way, we know what the weather is going to be like and whether we need to wrap ourselves up or take an umbrella so as not to get wet. Every day on the news, they tell us what the weather is going to be like so that we can prepare ourselves. They use weather maps and a series of symbols that we will learn about 
in order to understand them better. If there is a sun, it means the weather will be good. It will be a clear day. If there are clouds, it means it will be a cloudy day. If these clouds contain little water droplets, it means it will rain. And if they contain lightning instead of droplets, it means there will be a storm. If snowflakes appear, of course it means it will snow and it will be very cold. <laughs> the little arrows you can see indicate how windy it's going to be. And these little stripes mean that there will be a lot of fog and that you won't be able to see very much at all. Knowing what the weather is going to be like is very important for many people. For example, fishermen need to know if they can go out fishing by boat. Farmers need to know if they can use their tractors. And we ourselves often want to know what the weather's going to be like to see if we can go out and play with our friends. We have already learned about the weather, different weather phenomena and weather maps. Now, let's review. The weather occurs in the atmosphere and the different weather phenomena are rain, snow, storms and fog. We use weather maps and these symbols to find out what the weather is going to be like and whether we need to wrap up warm because it's going to be very cold or whether we need to carry an umbrella so we don't get wet from the rain or whether we need to put sunscreen on so we don't get burnt by the sun. Goodbye happy friends, see you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to climb very, very high to learn about what clouds are and how they are formed. If we look at the sky, we can almost always see them, higher or lower, bigger or smaller, with a multitude of ways that allow us to play and imagine that they could be animals or even toys. But what really are clouds? The clouds are made up of tiny drops of water, snowflakes or small ice crystals. 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. As the sun heats up the Earth's surface, it causes large amounts of water to evaporate. The humid and hot air, also called steam, rises into the atmosphere and little by little it gets cold. Due to this cooling, the vapour condenses into microscopic droplets of water that can have the shape of tiny snowflakes or crystals of ice. And those droplets are precisely what make up clouds. Clouds are very different from one another, either because of their shape, colour, size or altitude. The cirrus clouds are white, light and thin and seem to be scattered across the sky. They are those that are at a higher altitude, exceed 7,500 metres in height and are formed by tiny ice crystals. The cumulus clouds are large clouds that look like they are swollen. They may look like they are made of cotton. They are halfway up and in general they are a sign of good weather, although in some occasions they can discharge intense rains. The strata are very long, horizontal and grey clouds. They are the lowest clouds, and if they are very, very, very low, do you know what they're called? Correct! They're called fog. All clouds are very important for life on the planet, because they are a fundamental part of the water cycle. 
They allow the essential fall of rain or snow and regulate the temperature and air. I love watching the sky and seeing the clouds, but there is a very, very special one that I like more than the rest. Do you know what it is? Well, of course, our beloved and nice cloud. Goodbye, friends. Ah, and do not forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.